introduction to finite fields. Okay. So first, a little bit terminology, Namensgebung, terminology. Finite field is already a fancy sounding name, but there's a much nicer name for it. That's synonymous, this is synonym to Galois field. That's a nice French name, right? Okay. If you want to understand finite fields first, you have to want to, we, we probably, it's good to know what a field is before we switch to finite fields. In order to know what a field is, we have to look what a ring is. And if you want to understand what rings, we have to know what a group is. So what, what is kind of good to know is that there are three basic algebraic algebraic structures. Okay, so the three type of things, basic things people look at in, 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 in algebra. Um, the simplest thing you can construct is a group, okay? And the definition of the group, um, we did formally introduce a ring and a group is an even simpler structure. So very, very, very roughly speaking, a group is a set of elements, a set of elements with two operations, really with one operation, plus, but then you always have the inverse operation, which is the minus, okay? And certain types of rules, in, in particular, it's, uh, you can see that, you know, uh, Rule number one, that the operation is closed. Rule number two is that the operation is associative, so it doesn't matter in which sequence you do the operation. Um, rule number three is there's a neutral element, the eins element, the one element, if you have a multiplicative group. And you have rule number four, you have an inverse element. So these are the four basic rules, and then you can also have a commutative rule. Um, so this is the group, this is the most basic one. Um, the next complex structure, if you, now what we're going to do, we keep, we keep the set, you know, we keep a set of elements, but we keep adding operations to it. So this is only plus and minus, so let's add plus, minus, let's add multiplication. You get a ring. One thing that is missing in a ring, and we did do that in the first or second lecture, second lecture, I believe, um, is that not all elements have an inverse, multiplicative inverse. So that means you can always multiply, but often you cannot divide. So not all, not all elements, you cannot divide by, by some elements. In order to complete that, to get, to get this fourth basic operation, which is, is division or inversion, you need a field. Okay, which we call F here, abbreviate by F. So what you have in, in a field is you have plus, minus, times, and inverse. So you have the four basic operations, okay? And an elegant way of expressing that in terms of groups is here, okay? formal definition of uh, fields. That's definition um, 4.32 in the textbook, okay? Which you see at this very moment on the screen. And the basic thing that you do, you start with a group, you know, we had this essentially four properties of a group, or five properties here, right? 
And so what you do now with respect to addition, and what you do now, you take a set of elements and you say, okay, with respect to addition, you have an additive group. And then, you know, this is the first bullet point. And then you say, the elements also form a multiplicative group here, okay? And you also have inverses. That's the basic idea. So you, take, you have one set of elements, and you say, okay, the group laws for additions are fulfilled, and the group laws for multiplication are fulfilled. And that's the idea, okay? Um, very informally, sehr umgangssprachlich, okay? Very informally, what a field is, A field is a set of numbers in which we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. End of quotation mark. Citat, Herr Pa. Okay. Um, examples. It's our beloved set of real numbers. We all know that, you know, with in, in R we can do all arithmetic. Um, and since we are, we are an electrical engineering department, we also really know pretty well what the complex numbers are, right? So this is another set of numbers, and they also form a field. So the real numbers are a field, complex numbers are a field, but for instance, the um, rational numbers are a field. The natural numbers, n or z, N or Z are not a field because, you, for instance, normally you cannot divide. Most, most, most numbers don't have multiplicative inverses, okay? So it's not that you can take any set of numbers and say, it's a field. Many sets of numbers, you don't have all these four um, arithmetic operations available, okay? 